So I've been getting the breakdown here and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of geeking out. So basically I was asking, well, what's going to happen to my old engine? Like what, what do you guys do with it? And are your engines rebuilt? Are they brand new? And um, short answer, they're, they're brand new. And the reason why is because they take, they strip it completely down to bare bones. So they'll take out the timing chain here. Um, they'll take it down to every little nut and bolt they take it, they clean it down to the the springs. They'll reuse the spring, but they'll put their own parts in here that they make and manufacture, um, making it a brand new, you know, their version of this engine, more reliable, more power. Uh, but yeah, they'll, they'll strip it completely down. The parts we're gonna reuse are like these parts. Um, they're gonna redo the hoses, you know, we use this, but the valve cover I'm going to be getting is going to be modified because on their engine, they actually put a dual timing chain. So I'll be getting a dual timing chain in mine, um, aluminum, uh, oil cap, which will be pretty slick. Uh, they modify the valve cover so it fits with the dual timing chain. And if you want to see how this gets stripped down, so all this will come out, every little thing, like I said, and it'll look like this. So then that, this is what's underneath it, which I believe this is what they said, the crankshaft. So this is what's underneath all there. And then I asked him like, okay, so it just gets shipped down to this part. He goes, oh no, no, no. We take each of these apart. And it's cool, they're, they're all labeled. It can only go in a certain way. So one, two, and then the third here, four, and at five. And then under there, once that's stripped down, those are those parts. And then you just got the block right here. You just got every different stage of the engine taken apart. See, here's a little bit less than mine. 
So that's underneath there, more crankshafts. Come down over this side, crankshafts. Look, and here's more. So, and as far as my parts, here's more of mine still being cleaned. They sandblast them over there. They wash them and sandblast them. <coughs> He's been cleaning a part over here. And like I said, we're gonna be reusing, you know, whatever attaches basically to the engine. So they're gonna go in. I'm gonna bring you guys in over there right now to the new engine, see if they're even putting anything on yet. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be sweet. That'll be cut off here. There's gonna be a header coming in. So they're gonna be adding one of their LC headers. They were, they were blasted them. And now, uh, I'm gonna They're brand rinse, new again. rinse them off with water and paint them on that rack right there. Clean. A lot better, huh? Oh yeah. You know, makes the surface a little rough, so the paint sticks better. Yeah. And then put them on the new engine and call it good. Yeah. Yeah, this is just a silicone, like an RTV. Basically just around the water ports on the, on the head. Mm -hmm. If I would have trim this gasket before I put the silicone on, I will oh, be making such a mess right here. Okay. Probably doesn't make a whole lot of difference on this particular bill, but yeah. still better to do it. Go through all the work of trying to make the head work good and do all that stuff, and then you put a gasket on it that sticks in the port. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do we have a driver for these big setups? I can't for the life of me find a socket that fits in. Um, Oh, damn it. Is that my old one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you guys clean it up nice. Yeah, just jet washer and scrubbing it. And... So 
sometimes we'll blast them, but if I can avoid it, I do. I did blast the inside, though, so it really didn't matter too much. Oh, those? Yeah. You just gotta make sure you get it with you know, any of that glass going into the... Oh, the cap just fell off. And what you're using this part is all about getting them super, super clean, right? Yeah. Yeah, we actually had um, of these engines. The very first one I did came back and pulled it all apart and it just killed the cylinders on it. Mm -hmm. And basically the guy had sent his intake manifold out to be powder coated. But when they powder coated that sandblast it, they did clean it afterwards. Mm -hmm. And then all that sand went straight to the engine. Just killed it. Killed the engine? Yeah. It didn't get 50 miles on it. Yeah. Um, driver for that, Cody? Yeah. No, I can't find it. Anymore. Lower intake manifold. Lower intake, yeah. Yeah, intake no, we manifold. don't for the EFI, we don't. We do make for the carbureted version. Um, we make our own manifold on that. So when you guys are giving or selling these engines, is it just the actual engine itself and people supply their own? Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, they have to swap. Yeah, just like the right. customer would have to do all of that. Okay, that makes sense. Difference is the customer probably isn't spending the time to wire wheel every freaking bolt. So this is your flywheel. Like that. That's the 30 pound flywheel. This is the clutch, fuel filter tucked up under there nice so you can't get to it when it's all put together. Um, the fuel filter? Yeah, that's your fuel filter right there. So if you ever have to change the fuel filter, you gotta basically go through the fender well okay. to do it. Is that this a... Is your knock sensor, oil pressure sender. This just feeds coolant from here up to the throttle body, I believe, on that coolant temperature and this is a vacuum port which this cap fell off of. This is a problem with when you work on the older stuff is all this plastic stuff gets so brittle yeah. that you will put the injectors. Uh, these are just the heater um comes to the the line that runs to the heater core, and it's actually got a valve, so when you turn the knob inside the, the cab, it opens it or closes it and allows water to pass through it, and it'll go back up under here to the other side.
having my goodbye to the first gen. Um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I got to learn, you know, what exactly they do with these engines. All the internal parts are theirs, you know. That's all stuff they manufacture. They strip it down to the bare bones. They clean every little part. They bring it down to the block, clean the block. This is what mine, mine is getting. Mine is, it's not a reused core or anything. It's, it's brand new, 100% brand new. 2023, more reliable version of the 22RE is, man, talk about a dream come true. That is, just, it's gonna be so cool. It's gonna have a header on it. It's got their flywheel on it gonna have their exhaust on it um, I cannot wait to drive this thing and give it about two weeks I will be heading back to pick it up and to to give it a real good test drive home because it's gonna be a four and a half hour ride it'll be four and a half hours to get home right, I'll be back in two weeks to film the after and we'll be the drive home and give you the whole breakdown on, on uh, hearing this thing and, and seeing really how well it's gonna run so you guys stick around